I do. I don't know, Herschel, if you want to um, bring on Lynette, I've known Lynette for probably 20 years now. And I remember the brilliant mind she was uh, when it come to numbers uh, and everything. And, you know, when I saw this, Kenneth, when you shared it with me, um, I saw it right away. I was like, this can't be true. You, you get rewarded by walking. I know everybody that walks, right? So um, in a project like this, what she created, a self-sustaining ecosystem, so it's not dictated by the market, a real world utility, um, it just blew me away. So I'm going to keep my portion very short. Um, Herschel, I don't know if you you want to come on and say something um, very quickly and then introduce Lynette. You know what? I'm going I'm to allow you to do that, sir. I'm going to allow okay. you to do this segment. Absolutely. I mean, I'm, I, you know, even though I'm going to talk first, though, but, <laughs> you know, it's amazing to be a part of something where, you know, it's, it doesn't even, it's the, it's the feeling that you get. It's not the typical thing, you know, or it's not the next deal. It doesn't have that feel or that vibe to it because, you know, the, 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 dot, the dots are in alignment. Everything makes sense. And for those of you that may be here that's new uh, to, to, to even, you may not even know what this is about, just sit back, hold on to your seats. By the end of the call, you'll have a, 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 a you'll definitely have a better understanding of what's in front of you. Even if you don't understand it all, that's okay. You'll, you'll feel what many of us have uh, been feeling for the last month or so. Uh, and some even beyond. Um, it, it's it's something special. It's built. I tell Ken all the time. This is built different. This is built different. The eyes have been dotted and the T's have been crossed. So, Mike, I'm gonna go ahead and allow you to uh, bring on our guest speaker for this evening, and we'll go from there. You're muted. Finally, everyone, a smart contract done right, and uh, I'm gonna bring on the creator. Um, brilliant, brilliant mind when it comes to this. And I am so thankful that I got reconnected with her and to be a part of this project to help change so many people's lives. So if you want, Lynette, you want to come on and share some high level news with all these great individuals here. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Well, I have to tell you guys, I'm really excited to be reconnected with you as well, Mike. And then of course, Ken and Herschel and all of you guys that have um, come together. Some of us that are coming back together, it's kind of like old times. You know what I mean? It's like, wow. You know, you kind of reconnect again later in life, but we've been building this for the last three years and crypto has become almost an addiction to me. It kind of started out like just kind of fun. Um, and then it started to just consume me 24 seven to the point where, you know, I had bought this uh, when Samsung came out with their big screen curved TV. I had to get that for the living room so I could see all my charts up there on the big TV that I was following. I mean, it got that bad. So it, you know, took back seat. My life took a back seat to crypto. And the one thing that always just constantly was nagging at me is why do all of these projects fail? Crypto is supposed to be the most powerful landscape for an individual for their own financial wealth. I mean, you're in total control of your financial wealth and future. It's decentralized. And what I, when you start looking at everything, it's because when these projects are being created, they take the control away from you. They're not decentralized. They think because they're on a DEX exchange or because they have a token, it makes them a decentralized crypto project, but it doesn't. When you remove that decentralization, from the crypto project, you are now inside a crypto system that will not work. It will fail and it will end because it is the peer-to-peer -peer community who drives that project. It's not the person who's trying to micromanage everybody behind the scenes. When you can't click a button to call a contract and get your money immediately, instantly in real time, there's a problem. And so it took the three years to build this and to do it right because it's a very complex system, but it is amazing. You won't find anything like it on this entire planet that is not a blockchain. Blockchains are self-sustaining ecosystems. Your typical project, I don't know if it's that they don't know how to do it or they just don't want to do it, but if it's not built right, it's got an end date. 
And so I'm going to go through um, the highlights of what this project is. But first, I want to share my screen because I don't know if you guys have all seen this. And I'm sure probably most of you have. But I am like over the top excited about this because we have been trying so hard to demonstrate the power of this platform, of this project. And it's been really difficult to do um, because of all the beta testing on the Binance Smart Chain. It's a bit over diluted and different things that have happened on that chain through the testing. And so to be able to launch this 25 days ago on the Avalanche chain, nobody where nobody had been pre-mining, um, you know, with a small community of people, but a completely level playing field where everybody started at the same pace. Everybody started with Lenny Miners. If you wanted to, you know, evolve them, um, that was optional to you, but it was a completely brand new chain. And so we launched it on the 22nd of July at $1. And so in 25 days, we have reached $5.24. We are the number three trending token on the Avalanche chain, and we are the number one top gainer um, as well. So right here where it shows that we're the top gainer, it's because in the, and this is based on each hour, you can look and this is 24. So we've, we've increased our market value of our token by 2% in the last hour and over the last 24 hours by 17 and a half percent compared to the other projects that are on the avalanche chain. So this is extremely impressive. It doesn't, you know, mean that we've got as much liquidity as the other um, tokens, but it won't be long and we will have the most liquidity um, because of the self-funding ecosystem. And then here, actually, we should be the third one trending. Let's just check her out and see. Oh, we're at the fourth one, I think. I'm going to just, I like to check this. It's kind of cool. Where are we at? Yep, we're the fourth. So coin or coin market cap hasn't caught up. But still, this is pretty amazing. We've made the front page of coin market cap on the Avalanche chain. You know, you can see here I have it highlighted on Avalanche. So that's stuff to be excited about because you know people watch coin market cap for just these types of of tokens. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you guys, since we were talking about the uh, Move Quest. 10,000. Um, hold on here. Let me bring this. How do I want to do this? There we go. I already had it set up. So we're talking about 10,450 people in our community on the Avalanche chain. And based on today's current pool, okay, that is 52,000. And I can take you over here to the pool so you can see. 52, oh, it's a little different now. So let's bring it up to date. We are at 52,874, 277,923. Should take us to, what price would we be at? Where's my market value? Oh, $5.28. Come down here and see. Oh, 525 right there. Top row. I was looking at the wrong row. So our token value is, is proper. So now we'll scroll back down here to what it's going to look like with 10,000 people in our community who come in. And this is based on minting 14 miners, okay, because eventually they'll evolve. So if it's seven miners, you know, the seven Lenny miners they start with, you would just cut this price in half. But this is what we're looking at. You guys ready for this? Move Quest token valued at $4,530. It's pretty amazing. Now, we're not talking about the evolution. We're not talking about submissions. We're not talking about claiming challenges, leasing, docking. We're not talking about anything else that adds the liquidity. This is just simply... The onboarding, the launch pad, you know, you have to have those miners in order to uh, submit that proof of physical activity. This part actually has nothing to do with the ecosystem. It actually is what removes tokens from circulation. So every time somebody mints a miner, those MoveQuest tokens go back into the safe. They're not sold. 
by the project. They're not sold by me. They're not sold by a developer. They're not allocated into any of the uh, profits of this project. And that was done on purpose because one of the biggest questions that most people will ask, well, how can it sustain itself? And when there's nobody else joining this project, it'll fail. And so we removed this from the ecosystem altogether. It plays no role in the stability of the project. So with all that being said, I put together a really quick um, presentation. Hopefully uh, it's quick, but we just wanna go over uh, what GitFit Mining is. GitFit Mining is a blockchain-based platform. It combines fitness and cryptocurrency mining. It's 100% decentralized. The utility is backed, or the tokens are backed with utility, so are the miners, and it has a self-sustaining ecosystem. That is going to bug me. <laughs> no pre-sale of tokens. There was no token allocation, and we did have a 200,000 uh, move quest token liquidity raise before we listed the token. Move quest is a lifestyle. Okay, it is more than just a crypto project. It's actually changing lives, health wise and wealth wise. Users mine crypto with their proof of physical activity, which we've coined the term proof of physical activity or POPA. It records your steps your distance, your workouts, your calorie, and your calories burned in your sleep. The more steps you take, the more calories you're burning, the more distance you go on your walks or your runs, the more time you spend working out, getting a good night's sleep, the more tokens you're going to mine. So the, the, the project itself, it motivates you to do more, to challenge yourself. And it's not you don't have to go to a gym. You don't have to be outside. You can do it right in the comforts of your home. I can't tell you how many times I get, you know, kind of stuck at a computer and I have to make myself get up. And actually it's my sister who's got me doing this. On the top of every hour, I get up and I run in place for 10 or 15 minutes because otherwise I wouldn't get in my uh, physical activity for my mining. So it does motivate you and it does incentivize you to really push yourself. And we have a lot of testimonials and success stories of people losing weight, feeling better, feeling younger, looking younger, because you know what? Physical activity is exercise. And a lot of people confuse, you know, exercise and fitness with having to go to the gym or having to do those strenuous workouts. And not everybody can do that. It's just about moving, getting up and moving. So we incentivize healthy lifestyles through our gamification. We encourage users to stay active while they're mining these crypto rewards. And this is ultimately promoting both physical well-being and your financial gains through a very unique and innovative approach to fitness. Now, our project, the way it's designed, really shouldn't be unique. But in this current landscape of crypto, people creating these projects, we are extremely unique. Um, you won't find... Um, another project out there um, like us. Not Step In, not Sweat Coin, not any of those um, can touch this. Your proof of physical activity counts. Each day you record your proof of physical activity to the blockchain. We do not store, save, or sell your data. The only thing that's on our servers are the images that you see on our Web3 or inside our DAP. That's it. Um, we don't have you connect your uh, DAP wallet to the application. We provide you with an internal wallet so that you can do all of your transacting inside the wallet without having to risk any of your tokens, your crypto portfolio that you hold in your wallet. So we make sure that everything here is extremely secure. Once you've submitted that proof of physical activity to the blockchain, you are able to begin claiming your mining rewards when the round is complete. There's a 48 hour expiration on submissions and we allow that 48 hours because of the different time zones, because we are global. And then the claims they're available when those 48 hours is completed. So today's physical activity, I can submit that and then 
not tomorrow, but the following day, I would be able to claim those token rewards. There is no expiration date on claiming your tokens. So once they're mine, they are yours forever. Again, everything managed by smart contracts, it's all connected to your wallet. And so every time you click a button within the app or on the Web3 website, you're actually making a call to a smart contract. You are in complete control of everything you do with this project. I am not a manager or a custodian of any of your funds, nor are the developers or anybody else who is currently assisting with like our customer support or other areas where you interact with us. If I walked away from this today, this project still runs. It is completely on chain. And so you don't have to worry about anybody ever running off with your funds because you manage all of that yourself. Why do we stand out? We are completely community driven. We are decentralized. We are a self-sustaining ecosystem with a liquidity provision. Crypto is about a peer-to-peer -peer community. So if you are involved in a project and you see the value of that project, if you love that project, if it solves a problem, okay, you can't, a lot of times you'll see these projects that'll come up. It's the same thing as the last one, as the last one, as the last one. It's just kind of got a different outfit on it. You want a project that's unique. You want one that solves a problem. If that project is rewarding and it's beneficial to the community, the community begins to share it. And then the community grows. And along with that community's growth follows market value in the token. And because we've got that self-sustaining ecosystem, I'm going to explain to you why this is so important. When you get involved in other projects, there's several things they ask you to do. One, a pre-sale of their token because they are raising funds so that they can develop whatever it is they say they're doing. The second is they want you to also be the liquidity providers. And so you create the liquidity pairs. And then you would add the liquidity to that pool. And that's how they build up that pool. They don't have ecosystems that are self-funding that liquidity pool. We are completely different than anything you've ever seen that is not a blockchain project. And so when you get involved here, it is completely community driven. The bigger the community, the more value in the token. Also, we are completely decentralized. There isn't, you know, a lot of people say, well, there's a couple of pieces that are centralized because, you know, we do this or we do that from the back end. It's, okay, then you're not decentralized. Okay, there's not almost decentralized or a little centralized. You are either decentralized or you're centralized. And if there's any centralization to it where a person manages anything you're doing, it's centralized. And it's not decentralized. There is no such thing as in between. Everything here is managed by smart contracts. You push a button in the DAP or the Web3, you're recording your information to the blockchain. When you're submitting that proof of physical activity or you're claiming your rewards, it's recorded to the blockchain. There is no one person. There's no group. There's no company that's managing your money. This is not a company. It is a project where you're in control. Everything is recorded in real time. Everything is paid instantly. The minute you make a call to that smart contract, that smart contract is going to deliver whatever it is that you have coming to you. And everything being recorded to the blockchain is anonymous. And so all of your privacy is protected because blockchain only recognizes wallets. The self-sustaining ecosystem, to me, this is the best part. Every time somebody unlocks a dock slot, it's liquidity. Every time somebody evolves a miner, it's liquidity. Every time somebody submits proof of physical activity, it's liquidity. You claim your mining rewards, it's liquidity. When you create and you join challenges, it's liquidity. When you lease your miners out, it's liquidity. All the gamification, it's liquidity. There's going to be other things that are coming into the ecosystem as well. It's all liquidity. Any project you've been in, if you've had to spend money, where does it go? It goes into the creator's pocket. 
it doesn't go into the liquidity. They have the community providing the liquidity, which makes every project out there that does that extremely unstable. Because once that community decides to pull that liquidity, guess what? The project is done. Because when one pulls, another one does, another one does, another one does, and then you start seeing a sell-off. And before you know it, the project has crashed. And so that doesn't exist here. Because every time you push a button, every time you you interact with this application, it's providing the liquidity. The larger the community, the more liquidity. Why? Because more people are submitting. More people are evolving. More people are claiming. More people are creating and joining challenges. More people are leasing their miners. More people are, you know, interacting with the gamification to get through the arenas to the Hall of Fame. And every time you do that, there's these little in-app fees that are contributing to the liquidity, to the stability of the token that you're mining. And so every time that you're interacting within that application, it's providing the liquidity. The main key feature of this is that nobody's pulling that liquidity. The community's not removing it. I'm not removing it. The developers aren't removing it. It belongs to the ecosystem. It doesn't belong to me. It doesn't belong to anybody else. It is a communal community liquidity pool, and it's all being fueled by the use of the application. This is my favorite part to talk about. Does minting add liquidity? And you know, it, and it doesn't bother me. I've seen, there's been different people that will ask me this question like, oh, I'm sorry to ask you this. Or, well, you know, it's going to crash as soon as nobody new comes in. Well, this is the best part. Purposely, I removed the minting when I started mapping this out, minting the miners, that's how you get started, okay? You need those miners. They're not just images. They're 3D interactive algorithmic. They have technology behind them. They are programmable. We just haven't turned on those screens yet, but you'll see in the future. Um, the power uh, behind these miners is more than what you are actually just seeing right now. But they weren't going to be part of the ecosystem at all. Why? Because this is the best part. It doesn't take new people for this project to work, for this project to sustain itself. If you have a small community, you've got a small liquidity pool, and you have a small market value of the token. If you have a massive community, you've got a token that is over the top because you've got a large community, that peer-to-peer -peer community that's inside the ecosystem. When you mint these miners... The only role that that move quest plays is creating scarcity. It effectively controls the supply and the demand. So every time somebody mints a miner, okay, that's creating the demand in the liquidity pool, right? Because they're coming in, they're buying that move quest from the pool, then they're coming back and they're minting, they're minting those miners, well, when they mint those miners, that move quest has to go somewhere. Right now, it's paying out a commission, and then 40% is going up into uh, the master contract wallet. From there, it's returned to the safe, to the vault, the GetFit vault. That means that those tokens have been pulled out of circulation until the year 2060. They don't provide liquidity, but they sure do provide the market value of that token because it's always removing the move quest out of circulation. And so it enhances the token value in the pool. So it doesn't need new users for this project to sustain itself. And that's the most important part for people to understand. The project doesn't crash if it doesn't have a constant influx of new users or new money. However, the, the larger the community, the more market value, the more liquidity, and the more interaction inside the application that is providing that liquidity. If any of that makes sense, hopefully sometimes I start to ramble. Now we're going to go over how it works in the different components of the GetFit mining system. One is the DAP. It is available for download on Android and iOS devices. 
on iOS, we're still currently using test flight. However, we are in the process of a rebranding. And so when this rebranding is up, the test flight thing should go by the wayside. The only thing that may cause a week or two delay would be in the um, authorization part of it uh, with, with uh, Apple. But for the most part, that should be done and over with. And you would just go to the app store and you would just download the app. It syncs with Google Fit if you are using Android. So if you're new right now, the first thing you wanna do is download Google Fit or activate it on your phone and on your smart watch, if you have one, a fitness tracker, because you're gonna get two days worth of activity if you're brand new and just getting started. So that's the first thing you wanna do. And same thing for iOS, you wanna activate Apple Health because you can get two days worth if you haven't started yet. Um, of that, of those mining rewards. And if you're already using Google Fit and Apple Health, you're going to get two days. Let's say you get register, you get your uh, miners minted tonight, you activate your wallet so it's connected to the smart contract. Um, and once you connect, you've got two days worth of mining and you hadn't even gotten started yet. So that that's a good thing. The activities that you are mining these tokens with are your steps, your distance, your calories, your workouts, and your sleep. And so you are mining these tokens 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because all of these categories are very important to your physical health, including your sleep. And so calories and sleep, that's a low level uh, mining. It only is equivalent to, what was it? So it's 10% of the mining power. Your steps, your distance, and your workouts, they are equal. 30% um, of the mining power is coming through your steps, your distance, and your workouts, and then 5% on sleep, 5% on calories. But cumulative, you take that 100% from 24-7 of your physical activity, you can really do a lot um, of mining with that. Now we have five types of miners, okay? Everybody starts at the same level, the 50% Lenny miner, and those are $50. And that's, you have to have MoveQuest um, to mint those miners. Then we have our primary, our ultra, our alpha, and our omega, and you evolve into those miners, okay? There's a fee to upgrade those miners. The evolution is very important to the ecosystem. The mining dock, this is where you plug in those miners, okay? They need to be plugged into the smart contract so that they can begin the, the mining power that each one of those miners have so that you start generating those hashes that are reported to the blockchain. And there is a fee on each one of those dock slots. It's a one-time fee lifetime fee so you can interchange your miners let's say you get a better one or you know you want to swap it out or you've you know got higher powered ones you don't pay that fee again i think there's a 25 cent or 30 cent in-app fee for swapping them out but never again an unlock fee the first slot's always free so a person can get started with one lenny miner for 50 dollars, and they can plug it into the mining dock so it starts to work at no cost the second slot is $10, the third is 20, the fourth is 25, the fifth is 30, the sixth is 35, and then the seventh is 60. Why? Because that seventh slot really, really increases your mining power. And it kind of, it's like, you know, you're walking up a, a mountain, kind of like, like when I go hiking when I'm out in Arizona. When I start getting up to that top of that, I, it's hard for me to breathe. It's hard for me to I'm, I'm looking up there thinking, oh my God, I still got another 50 feet to go. But once I get there, it's like, whew, well, once you get to that seventh slot, it's the same thing. It's like, it kind of opens up a whole lot more uh, mining power. It just kind of pushes you over that edge right there. And so we do charge more for that because if you are mining with seven omegas, especially, one, you should have a realistic expectation that it's going to be rewarding to do that. But at the same time, you also need to contribute to the ecosystem to be able to mine the amount of tokens that you can mine 
with those seven omega minors. So that is why that seventh slot is so much higher. Now we're going to talk about the gamification and evolving your minors for more power. Everybody starts with a Lenny minor, 50 bucks, 50% 50 mining power. Then you can upgrade to a primary. Now there's a couple of reasons why we do this. And I explained it last night as well on the call, but we have the legacy miners and we have the epic miners. Okay. Those have never been minted yet. So even as creator or developers, we didn't pre mint those miners, which we could have when we did, when we first developed um, these miners, we did not do that because Everything here is on a level fair playing field. I mine just like you do, and I buy tokens just like you do, and I didn't start myself out with any legacy or um, any of the uh, epic miners. So when you're minting these miners, it does go through a process. You're going to take your Lenny, and you're going to upgrade it to a primary. So it takes your Lenny, and it puts it in what we call a graveyard, um, contract. We don't burn it out of circulation because if we did that, then it just makes it even more difficult for those legacy or those epic uh, miners um, for somebody to mint those. So what we do is we retire it. It goes into the graveyard, never to be used again, but it can't be minted again either. Every one of these miners are unique. There are no two alike. They're completely different, every single miner. So every time we remove one, and we put it in that graveyard contract, it can never be used, but it can never be minted either. So it will evolve into a primary, and then you'll take the primary when you're ready, and you can upgrade that to an ultra. Now the primary, it is retired. And then the ultra, when you upgrade it to the alpha, the ultra is retired. So it's removing these miners out of circulation, and it's actually increasing your chances of getting one of the epic or the legacy miners. Now, when you get to the alpha stage, it takes two alphas to merge into an omega. So right here, you'll see it's one, two, three, four, eight, nine. So what is that? Nine or 10. I think it's 10 miners. Nine, nine or 10 miners are removed from circulation for every one omega that comes into circulation. So to get to an omega, you'd have to mint two Lenny's. Upgrade two Lennies to two primaries, upgrade two primaries to two ultra, two ultra to two alpha. And then you merge two alphas to one omega. Now your other move to earn projects have what they call a breeding feature, which I've never understood this because everything in crypto is about scarcity, supply, and demand. If there is no scarcity, then you've got too much supply. And if there is scarcity, then that means you have a high demand. What they do is they have a breeding feature where you can take two sneakers and you can breed a third one. So now for every two sneakers in circulation, you've got a third. And then you can take, you know, those three and you can make it into another one because you got the second one and the third one. And you take the first one and the third one. So you can literally create like six miners from the beginning of one sneaker. And so what ends up happening is you've got this massive supply of miners and you're going to run out of their feet um, to fill them. So here we're always removing them. We're, we're keeping that demand for these tokens high. So we have the app, you have the miners, you have the mining docks, and then you can evolve all of those miners for more power. So a lot of people ask, well, how do you get started? Some people get a little bit overwhelmed by it, but it's actually pretty easy. If you're new to crypto, it's going to be a learning curve for you. Trust me. When I got started on the Binance Smart Chain, I am going to straight up tell you I was ready to throw my computer out the window and I was ready to just say, forget this. I am not even touching the Binance Smart Chain. I was just fine with Ethereum and Bitcoin and doing what I did with blockchains. But I got to, I made myself sit down, figure it out. And you know what? It's actually very easy after you've done it a few times. It's just a little different. But you need to create a DAP wallet. So you can use MetaMask, you can use Trust Wallet, Token Pocket. Any DAP wallet that supports the Binance Smart Chain, the Avalanche Chain, um, eventually we go up on uh, Solana, you'd want to have like um, the Phantom Wallet. But for now, MetaMask, I think is the easiest because you can use it on your desktop and you can use it on your on your phone as well. Um, trust isn't too bad, but it's a little bit wonky. You will need to download Google Fit if you have an Android, Apple Health if you have an iOS device. 
You're going to want to download the Get Fit Mining app. And then you've got to have three tokens. You need MoveQuest because you're going to mint your miner. If you're going to evolve, you'll need USDT. Our evolution contract uses USDT. This project never sells a token. And so when you evolve those miners, you use the USDT because that contract is responsible for buying MoveQuest from the exchange, bringing that MoveQuest back to the contract, pairing it to the USDT, and then injecting that liquidity. The move quest is minting the miners, which is removing, you know, the move quest out of circulation, the move quest that's used to mint. And then you're going to need the AVAX, which is the native token to the Avalanche chain, because you have to pay gas fees. And so when you submit and when you claim, the in-app fee is using the AVAX. And again, that's so the AVAX can be converted to either move quest or USDT, whichever is needed for the liquidity pool. While MoveQuest offers the financial rewards that we're talking about, you guys have seen the power of this. And I'm going to go back to that, um, the deck screen there so I can show you that chart one more time. So I want to share with you guys how this works. So you can, you'll know what you're seeing on the, on the um, exchange, but it really promotes improved health and fitness. So I don't know how old everybody is here. I'm 56. I was a basket case when I turned 30. I never wanted to leave my 20s. I had the best time of my life was in my 20s. I mean, I was loving life and I hit 30. And all of my friends and my dad and everybody threw this big old surprise party for me on my 30th birthday after I even warned them not to. I walked into my office and I'm like, what are you guys doing here? They all started singing happy birthday to me. I started crying and walked out the door and I went and spent my birthday by myself. Guess what? Nobody has ever thrown a birthday party for me since. Can you blame them? But my whole point of this is being 56 and facing my 50s was probably one of the most difficult things I've ever had to go through. I don't know why age bugs me, but it does. And I started seeing muscle tone leave. I started, you know, your body starts to change when you get to that age. And so Get Fit has motivated me to get active again and to see that muscle tone come back, my balance coming back. I'm starting to feel younger again. You know, the going on a walk when I first started doing this, taking 2,500 steps a day, you know, was a lot because I didn't realize how much I sat at a computer and didn't move to where now, you know, getting those 10,000 steps a day or 15,000 steps a day is easy. And my body almost craves it. It's almost like if I don't get that physical activity in, I kind of feel not so well. So the I think even more so than the financial gains that you have from becoming more physically fit, it's that it motivates you to stay active. And we all know as we're getting older, the less active we are, the older we start to feel, the more our bodies start to break down. And so it's really important to stay active. And so the more you move, the better you feel, and the more you start to earn. Again, talking about privacy, we take that as priority and we ensure that none of your personal information is ever shared with third parties. We do not store it on our servers. Our servers cost less than $25 a month just to host images. That's it. We really don't even need a server because everything is on chain. The only reason we do is so that our users can click a button and make a call to a smart contract. Otherwise, you'd actually have to go to, you know, uh, snow trace or the bsc scan and you'd have to connect to the smart contract and you'd have to do everything right there on the smart contract but trying to teach people how to do that that's a whole nother level and so we've just made it super simple by only needing uh to use the app or the web3 and so when you push those buttons you're actually um, doing all of that activity on the blockchain you're actually paying to use this app by recording it to the blockchain we don't store anything at all on those servers and so None of your physical fitness has a name attached to it. It just has a wallet attached to it for validation and verification. And it's completely private for you, completely secure. That is Get Fit Mining MoveQuest. And we're really excited for everything that's taking place right now. What's coming, you know, in the very near future, the rebranding, the new look, the new feel, you know, super excited with, um, you know, all of this amazing community that 
has um, begun to work with us and take this to that next level. And we really love watching this come to life and seeing how it's going to change people's lives, that it's not, you're not at risk of a rug pull or somebody running off and stealing your money because you manage your money. Nobody manages your money. Most of you don't even know who I am. And so you shouldn't trust me to manage your money. And that's why I don't. That's why it is completely managed by smart contracts. So I hope you guys are just as excited about this as I am. I absolutely love this project. It can be a real headache sometimes, and it really takes up most of my life, but it's probably the most rewarding thing that I have ever done in my entire life. I think I'm going to use the coin market cap because it kind of shows a little bit better, but I just kind of want you to see um, when the community is here buying the token, it's it's awesome, right? Because it's it's driving up that market value. Then when the community begins to sell the token, that ecosystem that's in play, it's got to buy that move quest and it's got to bring that price back up because it's got to inject that liquidity. And then when more people are selling that ecosystem, it just keeps driving it up. I would guess that probably 85%, 75% of what you're seeing right here is the community who's engaged in the ecosystem because it's always supplying liquidity. It's either buying move quests or it's injecting that liquidity. And if you look at this chart, I have it downsized a little bit, or this is the day we listed it on the 22nd of July. This was just people buying it to mint their miners. Then you can see all of the, the sell-offs. Now the, the uh, evolution, it's got an algorithm it has to follow. So it doesn't just you know drive the market up during a selling period, it drives the market up when the market is already stable and there's a demand there. Then it continue, it stabilizes that market and then it will start to contribute. What it'll do here, as you can see, it did a little bit. I mean, you can't really see the green. If I bring this up a little bit, you might be able to. Let's see if it will. Yeah, that just makes it worse. Here we go. That's a little bit better. When you see, you can see some of the green in here, but where you really started seeing it, that's where the selling really started to stop, right? There's some green in here where the evolution was doing some correction. But then the selling just got kind of crazy there for a minute. Couldn't really put my finger on it because it's like, okay, it's such a small community. And in the people that bought the liquidity raise tokens, they knew this was like a, they're kind of like the market makers, right? You only sell the tokens when there's a demand. Like, what is going on here? And then the evolution contract, it just wasn't triggering. And I'm thinking, mm -hmm, okay, when's this going to happen? And then, bam, it started to trigger because that selling point, it it stopped. So it pumped it back up, you know, brought it back, corrected it. I like to call it market correction because that's what it's doing. It's buying up those excess tokens so that it can add liquidity. Instead of the community doing that, or the community doing that, Start to sound like Joe Biden now. So to the community doing that, it's the actual project. It's the community within the project that's that's doing this, but not individually. So you don't pull it. You don't risk, you know, um, a community of people just out of the blue pulling liquidity for whatever reason they have, which it's their right to do, right? Because that's their money. But then you can see here it started to sell off again. And not, not a whole lot of... Uh, correction going on here and then it kind of started to taper down and then it just took off boom 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 boom, all the way up the evolution just kicks in every day um sometimes it's every hour it's kicking in i'm like wow sitting here watching this and when we started the listing it was at a dollar and it's up to the five dollar and 26 mark guys that is absolutely amazing i would be extremely shocked um if we seen it you know, go back down into this area. If we did, I don't see it ever staying down that low again. I think that um, you guys are going to see this just continue to move straight up. And the beautiful thing about a self-funding ecosystem is as we're building this community right now, sharing this with people and expanding our community, it is vital to the success of the project, right? I mean, you don't want to say, oh, well, we need the new money coming in because we don't. That's We're not using those miners that are being minted as new money to do any of this. It doesn't facilitate any of this. It just pulls that move quest out. But we do need that robust community so that we can drive this to the moon. 
and it doesn't take a lot of people. You already saw 10,450 people in the ecosystem and the token is over $4,000. How does it sustain that? Because you've got 10,450 people times seven miners that have been plugged into the mining deck who are submitting every day, who are claiming their tokens. They're engaged in challenges and leasing their miners. They're going through the gamification. They're docking their miners and getting them plugged in. They're evolving those miners. And all of that is contributing to the stability of this project. And even if not one single person came into this project after 10,450 people are in this community, for example, nobody is evolving, but they're still submitting. Take, and at that point, you've got a token that's like, Forty six hundred dollars so you won't be spending 25 cents guys to submit your tokens because there's an algorithm for that too because as the token increases in value so does that in-app fee to submit those tokens and to claim those tokens so say we're at forty six hundred dollars maybe it costs ten dollars you know a day for you to submit that physical activity but you're probably making four or five grand every couple of days at this point with that many people in um, or maybe even more than that. I don't think too many people are going to be upset because you had to spend $10 to submit that proof of physical activity because take 10,450 people times that by seven miners times that by $10 times that per day. That's liquidity times that by 365 days out of the year. It's more liquidity and it stabilizes this project. So I hope you guys are all excited. I'm over the top excited. I can't tell you all. How extremely grateful I am that you helped us demonstrate the power of this project because without all of you, this would have never been able to be demonstrated. The Binance Smart Chain, two and a half years of you know mining during beta testing and the development of this app, it made it a little bit difficult over there to really show the power behind this, but each of you have contributed um, to us being able to demonstrate that. So without all of you, this wouldn't even be happening right now. And so I am very appreciative and grateful to every one of you that are here making this happen. So I'm going to hand this back over to you guys and let you take over. Wow. That was powerful. Hey, Lynette, I got a quick question, if it's okay. Sure. Um, so we got a lot of potential and really good leaders, networkers on here. So you know, first, this is, I mean, I know this is a simple question. Um, it's a decentralized ecosystem. Is this available all over the world? It is. It's global. Okay. So another thing, when, like, let's say you, you mentioned this isn't looked at as a multi-level marketing platform, but as like right now, we do have a time frame before the whole rebranding and everything switches in middle of September-ish. Um, what will happen when the recruiting stops for that aspect of it is like the people like that are really excited about network marketing. So here's what we did. And it's kind of, it's for a couple of different reasons. One, we pay out 60% through the compensation right now. And we did that based, you know, a lot of it too is, you know, I'm connected with different networkers and it just seemed, like it would be a good thing to do during our development stages, you know, kind of because you really couldn't make a lot of money when you were mining these tokens because we didn't have a completed ecosystem. But we had to have the miners here to be able to test everything because of the complexity of this app. If you guys and many of you have, but there's so many contracts that operate this. Um, so we really needed those testers. And so during our beta phase, that was the sensible thing to do. Now, anytime you mix that type of compensation with a crypto project, generally it doesn't come across as real warm and fuzzy because most of those projects aren't operating properly and they end up, you know, going by the wayside. So you have to remember that that 60% becomes a marketing budget. And so if we were relying solely on network marketers to expand the community, that 60% you know, that would be considered that marketing budget. That hasn't been like super successful for us over the last two and a half years, which that's fine. We weren't ready for that type of growth. But basically those who are starting right now, we're grandfathering them in to 
that 11 level structure, okay? So you will be able to build and continue networking. We just aren't opening it up to anybody else. So they, it won't pay out a commission. It'll do rewards um, for sharing it. Like they may get energy boosts. They may get, uh, you know, like a mystery box or the loot or that kind of stuff within the actual gamification itself. But we're not going to continue on with that compensation plan. So if you're builders or networkers, you want to kind of position in now. And then if that's not doing what we need to do to market this, we may adjust what that compensation will be because this is actually a forced build. Your wallet in that compensation structure becomes the activated activation code that a person needs. So you're going to be getting, you know, uh, wallets that are activated to you anyway, just by default. You'll be making money, you know, just from the app uh, app's growth. And then we may have to take a percentage of that and use it towards marketing so that we can actually get the proper marketing in here. So there's a lot of things that are playing a role in what happens with that compensation. But we definitely appreciate, you know, our networkers, our influencers. And so even if we, we come across a networker, we can whitelist them for the future if they can produce. We just don't want to be giving away 60% to non-producers. Right. So when the referrals stop, is there still an incentive for people to refer other people? So this is the best way I can answer that. The larger the community, the more market value in your token. So if we have 10,450 people and you've got a token that's valued at 4,600, you're going to get pretty spoiled and you're going to want that $9,000 token value because you're mining every day and you're going to share it with people because you know the larger the community, the more market value in that token. So if you want to make more money, you know you're going to share it because the larger the community, the more market value in that token. Thank you so much. You're welcome. After that presentation, I don't know what else. What, 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 yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Everyone's quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions, drop them in the chat down below. You yeah. know, uh, uh, we've been doing Zooms every I mean, night around nine o'clock PM Eastern time. You know, obviously get back with the person, get in our Telegram group, our Facebook group. Uh, Ken has got some really good groups that uh, we put together and we're just constantly teaching people how to onboard people and people are running with it. You know, this is exciting. Yes, yeah, yeah, now we see the numbers that if we get this to 10,000, what that coin goes to. So we should be reaching out to everybody and and start sharing this as much as possible and and getting them on. Maybe we can get this recording too and get it out to everybody and use that so they don't have to be waiting for a a live Zoom. So your connections and your relationship you have can watch this because that was that was unreal. Um, you know, my head's spinning right now. That'll help you guys get that in front of you know a lot of people. And if they don't see it, man, I don't know. I don't know if they have a heartbeat. You know. Yeah, it only gets better from here. That's the most exciting part, you know. We're just and it's only gonna go up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Lynette, you were saying in the presentation, and it was like, well, as long as we're adding people and they're going through the process that it that's required here, it's just math, right? You set this up to mathematically, algorithmically perform, which means the more people get on, the higher the token goes. I mean, it's just so yeah. You know, we need we need 10,000 people, you know, and then we'll see what happens at that point. But I think that's going to be a pretty exciting ride because that from here to there alone, hitting 8,000, hitting, you know, 2,500 and 5,000. I mean, that's going to be significant for a lot of people and uh, pretty, pretty awesome to be a part of. So, yeah, we get 10,000. I invite all you guys to Lake of the Ozark for a big party. Hey, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. But uh, I did post the uh, groups there as well. So wait, I guess number one, is any anybody ready to get started? Because I think the presentation we just saw, if people are on here, they're may, maybe more crypto savvy and, you know, they're ready to go and they, you know, they're familiar with MetaMask, et cetera. They don't have a lot of questions just to get positioned. It's only uh, a $50, you know, basically $50 seed to get started. And then we could discuss more. Of course, the person that invited you, we can get more detail about you know, the other miners, et cetera, where you want to start or whatever. But if you're ready to get started, we can help you get started. We're going to be here. You know, like this is a, this is a marathon blitz type of project. Uh, one 10,000 deal for us. We're not stopping at all, you know, so we're ready. So whatever it takes at this point.
So if you're ready to go, let's go. Here, I'm going to answer real quick. Somebody asked if someone buys 14 Lennies versus only a thousand dollars worth of move quests, does it have the same effect on the 10,450 that we need? So we're not saying we need 10,450. We're just, we have that momentum going on where we're doing the, mm -hmm. you know, 10,000 build. But what we really need is like 5 million people using this. Do you know that our token would be about, mm -hmm. ew, probably about eight or nine times what Bitcoin is today. But uh, anyway, Ooh. getting away from that, <laughs> I'm just going to give you a little breakdown. So if you were to buy $1,000 worth of the move quest oh, right now, oh and at its current market value, you'd get about, I don't know how many of those, let's see, five, divide that by $5.25. You'd get about 190 of those move quests. Now, if you're somebody who, you know, doesn't mind moving, you can mine 30 to 40 of those a day if you had, you know, seven Omega miners. And if not, like uh, we were talking, somebody who was mining uh, with seven Lennies last night, is getting about 17 of those move quests a day. So if you take 17, you times that by 30, you're getting about 510 um, move quests for the month. So I would say that you would be better off to buy seven Lennies and only spend $350 and um, start mining. That would be my suggestion to you versus buying $1,000 worth of the move quest because now you can mine it for free for the rest of your life minus you know the 25 cents per miner um per day that you have to uh submit with and then another question is is there a finite amount of miners there is not so we remove so many miners through the evolution and then one thing we didn't touch on tonight when there's a hundred thousand miners mining in the mining docks the market value of move quest is what will determine the price of a miner so let's say, you know, 10,000 people, let's say that's the mark. We have 100,000 in there. Move quest will be $4,600. Okay, let's say at that point in time, it takes, I'm just going to say one move quest, which it wouldn't, but that would mean that that miner would cost $4,600 to mint. People aren't going to be able to afford to mint these miners in a very short time. Okay, 50 bucks is like nothing. And when we hit that level of miners, Everybody who wants a miner is going to have to lease them. And so it's going to create a demand for those of you who are leasing those miners. That becomes your digital real estate. You stake it to the marketplace and then somebody can open up their wallet. They connect their wallet to your miner and you're charging a rental fee and they're mining the tokens. And so it's going to allow people to come in and provide a second uh, stream of revenue for you by leasing out those digital miners. So we do not have a you know a, a you know a certain amount of miners that will ever be um, minted. To access test flight, you can go to the getfitmining.com website. Scroll down to where it says download app, or go to the get started page, and you'll see a link there for it. When you're using test flight, it's going to show you step one and step two. Step one is basically downloading test flight. If you've never used test flight before. Once you've downloaded it, it's going to ask you for a redeem code. Ignore that. Go back to uh, that web page where there's step one, step two, and click step two, start testing. It'll open up the app for you um, within uh, test flight. Um, yep, we can make this presentation available. I actually have the while lead added to the website. And I think that was all the questions, right? Anybody else? Yeah, uh, is there a finite amount of miners? Um, I think JJ had one. If someone buys 14 Lenny's versus, did you already say that one? Yeah. Yeah, yep, I think we did that one. Yeah, yeah, when yeah, will we got yeah, I see you went through them, yeah. We're yep. good. When will we release 5,008 tokens daily? So, you know, we were really watching the, when I was showing you that chart, you saw that huge decline. That's kind of when we were like, all right, we got to pull the reins back a little bit because we put 5,008 out there. The community, and it, don't take me the wrong way when I say things. I call it responsible or irresponsible token, uh, you know, exchanges. If you're selling tokens before the liquidity is there, if you're selling tokens with a new project and you're taking more liquidity than really you deserve 
on a new listing of a token and that can cause, you know, like a negative uh, downswing. For us, when that was happening in the first seven to 10 days, so near scratching my head going, oh my God, we're just getting started. People are just starting to mint those miners or just starting to create the demand for that token. What are people thinking? And, on, you know, if you were evolving them, not a big deal because it's coming back through the ecosystem and that evolution does a correction. But probably 50 to 60% were not doing that. And so we're like, okay, if this is, you know, like a just a sign of what's going to happen here, let's only do half of the, the distribution and we'll start to release them as the token stabilizes because we want everybody to have value here. And we really do only have about 375 people mining on Avalanche. So here in the next week or two, um, you'll start to see it move up to 3,000. You'll start to see it move up to 3,500. And we will gradually be at that 5,008. And I'm hoping that, you know, by the time we've hit, you know, 1,000 users, that would be like the perfect time. That full 5,008 are going into circulation. It'll increase what people are mining. It'll make it a little bit more valuable to you as well. But at the same time, it's going to preserve the market value for those people who are here, who are really committed and supporting the project to maintain that value for them as well. Well, awesome. Yep. This is awesome. It's all, all good. Yep. Who's speaking? Yep. Lynette is. <laughs> See some questions in the chat, but yeah, this is, this is good. We have the recording. Um, so we'll have that cleaned up and, uh, yeah, any files, et cetera, just, just get in the telegram. I posted that in a few minutes ago. If you're a part of the project and you're, you know, actually, uh, supporting the project and supporting the community, uh, get into the Facebook group, tell, share your story, share your testimonial, uh, bring other people to the platform, same process, rinse and repeat, right? We want to engage people. We want to help them get enrolled. We want them to help them, uh, get an experience and then create that story. And uh, that's what Project 10,000 is all about, right? How many people can we get to get this done, right? To get the, the miners, to get the activity trackers on multiple if you want to <laughs> and, and and make it happen, right? So um, that's what it's all about. Brian, how much do we need? Do I need to start? Who helped Brian get part, uh, participate tonight in the Zoom? Who, who invited you, Brian? You're looking at anywhere from about 60 or so dollars and up. Depends on what you're looking to do. Uh, but uh, get back with the person that invited you for sure so we can help you out. First, you got anything? Are we good? That's it for me this evening. So just mm -hmm. definitely want to thank Miss Lynette Price for um, coming out and actually explaining everything the way that she did. Uh, I greatly appreciate that. Uh, I think it, it created some clarity well, for okay. um, a lot of people with everything that's going on. Uh, and yes, Brian, um, We'll get with Ms. Roy Lane and we'll get every question you have um, answered for you and the information that you need to get started if it's something that you'd like to move forward with or additional information uh, so that you can make an informed decision. Um, I don't remember where it was up top. Someone asked for uh, instructions on how to get set up. For, just for the moment, I'm putting a PDF document that goes step by step on the um, setup process. Um, in here that anyone can grab and download as well. Um, that kind of breaks that down. But um, that's all I have this evening. Ken, Ken, um, Brian, Mike, go right ahead. See you tomorrow night. <laughs> Let's uh, do a little onboarding Zoom. Show them how to do it tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow Ooh. afternoon. So we're doing we're doing two p.m. Eastern. Eastern. 9 p.m. Eastern, the same same type of presentation, information, you know, kind of conversation mixed in there. We want some testimonials as well. Oh, we didn't get the testimonials tonight. I want to hear from a few people, but it's. I think we had a good one in the front there. But uh, yeah, you know, we, we're going to be here again. This is a ongoing thing. We're thinking five days a week, right? And then maybe Saturday have more of a training based uh, deal, onboarding or something like that. But we're figuring it all out. But the fun thing is, is that while we're doing that, the coin is showing up. Right. So <laughs> it's, it's, it's exciting. It really, really is. So, uh, we're good to go. We're good to go. Thanks a lot. Thanks everybody for being on. Um, any last words from Lynette, if you're there, you know, it's, uh, 
It's it's on. It's on. The, the coin is is live. It, what three weeks in, and I mean, we, we got to be excited about this. Make sure that we're in, we're engaging the community. Get in. I, I saw someone post earlier about getting into coin market cap, and the only reason why we're trending. By the way, we are trending number one. If you click the trending button, we show up on the chart as number one trending and number one gaining. Let's not let oh, go. Of that. Now again? Yeah, let's not let go of it. Let's just keep that number one. That's 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 exciting, man. I don't I don't know. I've never been in a project right. that was number one trending, number one gaming. I, it's fine. Yeah, just finished up the application to submit to them too, so we should be listed with them here very shortly. There you go. Now we're listed on Core Market Cap. So those that are in crypto, you understand the power in that. Uh, yeah, conversations get a lot shorter. <laughs> it's exciting, along with everything else we we got going on. So again, Lynette. Thank you so much for gracing us tonight with the with the presentation, and uh, we'll be sharing it. We'll be putting it out there, cutting it up, make sure everybody gets access to it. And, uh, let's keep going. Let's keep moving. And Ken, before so we go, uh, I'm just looking. You know, this evening we've had several people, and we've done it before as well. We have mm -hmm. several people actually listening in, earning money while they're <laughs> on the yeah. Zoom. Right? I see Miss Rita out getting her walk on. I was rolling. Oh, oh, look at Rita. Yeah, and, and, and that made, and that and that actually made me think of something. Oh. I need to go research the Guinness Book of Real World Records <laughs> because I believe this community could actually set or <laughs> get put in the Guinness Book of World yeah. Records for the most amount of people walking on a live Zoom at the same time. <laughs> we got to work on that. Might be a new category. We yeah, gotta work. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. not only breaking records, but we're uh, we're breaking some banks here too. So <laughs> that's even better. Exactly. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff, exactly. man. Awesome. Exactly. Well, hey, good to see everybody on. And yeah, we're gonna get uh, those little treadmills. Everybody will be having a treadmill on the Zoom pretty soon because uh, <laughs> yeah, the more people we bring on, the more rarity there is in this deal. And the, even uh, I think Lynette, can we can we figure out this week maybe what we call the the fraction of a MQT like maybe like it's a cutie QT. It's, it's a, a cutie. cutie is that what it is it's so I'm, I'm accumulating cuties here yeah essentially yeah uh, which is still very valuable so exactly. yeah we'll we'll talk about that I like that good stuff all right everybody I'm good good night right. everybody good we'll morning wherever you're time. from all right uh, yeah that is cute all right no. good and night we will get the recording out whatever we'll so. do all right.